Hello, today we will um, look at uh, reconnaissance in um, <coughs> Kelly. <coughs> Kelly is running on a Raspberry Pi. You know that a Raspberry Pi uh, has the Kelly to be installed. In the previous slide, you may uh, be able to install yours, okay? Uh, penetration testing or hacking um, general, generally requires the five steps. Those five steps, uh, as listed here, uh, starting uh, with the reconnaissance and then scanning um, and then we need to gain access um, and do some work after that. Okay, so rec reconnaissance uh, phase um, that we can gather information um, passively, uh, not actively. Uh, When we gather the information, we have to be carefully um, access uh, the infrastructure, not actively scanning or exploring anything, but uh, passively. We don't yet uh, uh, um, intrude any yet. And another step, uh, another thing that we can do uh, in the face of a recognizance is to invest the information. Um, so the recognizance uh, can be done in many different uh, tools. So one of the tools that we are going to work on today is uh, recon-ng. Um, and also there is a little bit uh, longer and um, a full spectrum of uh, uh, penetration testing and, and attacking and metasploits. Okay, so we'll look at uh, today uh, Recon NG. We have to first install that on uh, Kelly, which is running on Raspberry Pi. Uh, reconnaissance uh, written in Python, which means you may be able to integrate or connect uh, this uh, recon ng with your uh, your own uh, Python code. Um, if anyone is interested in uh, in your project uh, to build or to write uh, some more capabilities in Python and and communicate or interact with the recon, uh, that is a uh, perfect sense uh, in this reason. Uh, database uh, is uh, running uh, behind, so we will see that also. Not all, a lot of uh, uh, the capabilities that we uh, can do here, but you can still do uh, one or others in many cases, right? Uh, today's lecture is, is aims uh, at uh, opening uh, another big penetration world or hacking world uh, to you so that you can uh, elaborate more so you can die in uh, th this um, um, uh, small uh, 
uh, computing world was still yet powerful and and smart uh, by using a Raspberry Pi. All right. So we have to first install. The way that we install is uh, the command that you can see here, and then you can run. Once once this is successfully uh, installed, then you can and then uh, this is the command that you you type it. Okay. Then then you will have uh, your own prompt, which prompt is is automatically given by this uh, recon ng. Uh, at that uh, prompt, you can type show schema or keys uh, list uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so so we can do uh, more in the next slide about this. Okay, in the meantime, some of you may uh, ask a question: Where when I install this? Okay, when I install, where is it located? Um, the user, I mean, as a user, you are the user, right? You are one of the users. And users, in the user's directory, there is a hidden file. So this tilde means this is your home directory, slash, within that home directory, there is there is a hidden uh, file dot recon dash ng. This is your everything about your work uh, configuration that you uh, set for your own purpose. Your report, everything about you will be stored here. Okay. Um, the execution file, the binary code uh, installed from this command stored in not in your home directory but in the system level directory which is um, USL Dash share then there's a uh, recon okay after this recon dash ng Um, the binary code to store the in this directory. Your own personal uh, setting, configuration information, all the your workspaces are uh, available here. Um, the thing that you could do is is uh, you need to add a test. If you want to save it under this test, um, the keys list. If there is uh, some um, complaint from your recon ng, usually you don't need to worry about. By the way, this should be a uh, small k. Okay. Then you can add uh, the key to particular API if you want to uh, recognize uh, of some of the server. Server which 
uh, serves you API. Okay. For example, IP info DB, then you need to register uh, your accounts. Um, so if successfully registered, then it will give you uh, the access code. That is uh, the key. This key can be uh, inserted, inserted into the database, which is uh, uh, supporting to this uh, recon ng. So this is the command that you can uh, add a key, the key about uh, this server into the database uh, available in this uh, recon ng. In general, in recon ng, if you need to see, then uh, you can, if you want to uh, get some help, then type help. By the way, this is uh, the prompt given by recon ng. Okay. And one of, then you can see uh, some of the possible commands. Uh, pick one of those, for example, set like this, so that you can ask also, uh, help me for set. Then, then it shows uh, some of the information about set. Set one of the, uh, the parameter set for your a tool is timeout. Uh, typically, it is with uh, timeout ten, but uh, you can set to something else. Okay, and then you, if you you can see also if it is uh, updated. Similar uh, similarly for the keys. Um, one of um, the modules that you may be interested in is this recon, right? In order to see the module, uh, then you can type uh, module, then you can see here, the modules, then you can see uh, all the modules. So one of them is, you can choose one of them, and then you can use it. So use, this is a mod, mod, uh, module name. You spell uh, one of the module, out then you currently working in this default and if you bring this module in then your prompt will be default and access as posed you can do show info okay then um, in this module to see the domain vulnerabilities you can ask the vulnerability uh, with the, the source so so this is a, a domain right so instead of that you can say www.mercy.edu then you can see also some of the vulnerabilities and then you can run then there may be some output. So I want to do, do this also. And at the end, you can save yours. So you can save it, uh, CSV uh, format. There may be um, uh, many other formats available, that, but you can use this. And then to run, then can be saved. So file name is result.csv. Uh, and one more thing that we could do is, um, for example, uh, we can select uh, another project, say test, then which is uh, on the default, and show info. And then you can add a location, so add a location, then it, uh, it 
ask you to latitude, longitude, and, and some of the, the location uh, street names, and so on and so forth. Uh, so we can practice it um, to get it done. You need the uh, the code, the latitude code and longitude code to fit into this uh, location. Um, get the location uh, lo and geo code. Uh, this is uh, one of uh, the website, so that you can, for example, put there uh, any address that you are interested in, or uh, maybe multi college and run. Then you can see uh, some of the result um, of that location. Okay. 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 Now let's try to install Recon NG. Okay. By We'll follow the slide. Enter. Uh, I think this is network issue, so we need to see. Password. I have to type this very carefully. What did I do?
Okay. Right now it's very hard to see. And then to so let's see what it is here. Let's see if it's there. Cannot activate. All right, perfect. Now it's this is the first. Okay, 
we need to make sure f for uh, our I cannot see very clearly. This is wrong. See if we have that available now. Looks like it works. Or closed. So we need to close. Okay, here's what I want to do. So we need to install. APT. Oh, should be all case. APT dash get. Update two and percent means I'm going to I mean two different uh, Linux command can be done sequence in a sequence. So apt dash get update there is one command that is done uh, without uh, having to uh, be intervened by uh, user automatically it can done in the next uh, uh, command so we have another apt get install install what recon ng so this is installation Command is is a is a very very common uh, as you want to install uh, new ones you could do all the time like that so it takes uh, time it fetch twenty six point nine megabyte uh, as you can see there. So it's 26 uh, megabyte. Um, in earlier, uh, when you install Kali Linux in, on uh, Raspberry Pi, it uh, it is only 20 uh, and, and, and you know six gig uh, spaces. So half of them are already occupied by Kali Linux. So we do not have uh, much left. But this uh, small size of uh, Recon NG uh, is available.
Okay. So now, let me first check one thing. Okay. Remember the last uh, last class? I <clears throat> tried to um, tell you where the sources that list uh, available. That is there. Etc. Slash etc. Slash apt. <clears throat> there is a sources that list. If you type sources. And as you can see, there is a um, DB, there's a Debian, uh, uh, the Linux uh, distributor. And then there is a URL, HTTP dash, I mean, HTTP colon slash slash HTTP dot Kelly dot org, and, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and another, another line, DEB. Uh, dash src source so by look by referring those two <clears throat> uh, website um, when I type apt dash get update then all uh, the tools available on that uh, website will be uh, updated in my system so that when I <clears throat> try to install then uh, then it uh, automatically forced to refer to that website okay that's what we did today right now and now uh, we are ready to uh, launch the program recon dash ng You do not have to worry about uh, all the statements here in red. Uh, you may read it, but it says uh, the keys are not uh, assigned, for example. Okay? Therefore, there is an error. It is not an error. Um, it's a complaint. So. It, if we see keys that list, then this is the database. As you can see, these are the, all the keys may be required for you to uh, get um, the site information. But because there is no key, you cannot get in to, to penetrate, right? So you can assign any key here. If you if you have the key generated from that particular uh, website, for example, Twitter, Twitter has an API. If you have an uh, uh, API uh, key, then you can add it. As you add it, then you can have uh, the key value. Uh, you can see the key value uh, updated in this table. As I said, um, recon-ng has a database running behind. So you can see the database schema. You can type show schema. Then you can see all kinds of schema that for example, repositories, 
then name, owner, description, resource, category, URL, module, there are many others, profiles, table, uh, inclusion tables, and, and so on. So many tables are already uh, provided to you. This is just for you. Okay. Uh, in this server, there may be many other users try to uh, get uh, the information through this recon ng then each one has different uh, uh, databases. Um, if you want to see the help, then help, then you can see many search. Okay, you can do help add. You cannot see much here. Let's see. Okay, query, record, search, set shall show um, workspaces spool on set and then others keys load exit exit is uh, the command that you, you can exit from this uh, this is uh, the prompt from this recon engine, right? So you can help, for example, help uh, workspaces. Then there is a Workspace, manage it workspaces, usage is a workspace, and then list. If you want to see the list of workspace, you can do that. For example, you can see the list of a workspace. Right now, Okay, so show workspaces shows you a list of workspaces. Right now we have a default workspace, only one, right? But you can add. You can add a uh, workspace called the test. Okay, in that way, then you can have here recon and and test remember previously we have a default instead of this instead of this test there we can see also show workspaces then you can see both of those test and default Again here, help set, then you can see there's a parameter already set, uh, name server, proxy, threads, number of threads allowed, um, timeout, right now 10, but you can uh, change it, for example, Set the timeout to 15. Okay. And then uh, uh, 
have set, then you can see the difference, right? Right now it is 15. Previously 10. Similarly, keys list, there's no keys at all, but you can add. For example, keys. If you do not know what to do, then there is a uh, help, help keys, then uh, the usage of command keys uh, is provided. I know this is a uh, really uh, full description uh, and friendly manual for you to use. There is no example, but, but that's what it is right now. But anyway, we can uh, uh, follow it. For example, keys followed by uh, some other uh, options, either list or add or delete. So at this time, we looked at the keys uh, uh, space list, right? So now let's add. Add. Uh, uh, the key to what? Um, you can see any one of this. Uh, Twitter.api, Twitter underscore API. Um, to get it uh, done, uh, in really effectively, then you need to get the API from Twitter. But to save it, in order to do that, you have to register and, and uh, API register and get the key from Twitter server and add that to there, then you can uh, expose more and more, explore more and more, right? But right now, uh, as an example, you can do simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, enter. Um, this guy does not uh, verify uh, the integrity of that key. It, this recon uh, dash ng simply use the key to access the server uh, if you want. So if you uh, enter wrong server, then of course it's, it's not possible. But in this case, I just to show to you how to uh, add the keys as we did the key is added to Twitter underscore API Uh, as you type show modules, show modules, then you can see the list of modules. Okay, so you can use those modules. This is a module of uh, the tool. Um, so recon. Uh, the one in uh, in the slide. Recon domains of vulnerability. Let's try to do that. Uh, recon domains. Uh, host domains vulnerability. Okay, this is the one that we want to do. Okay, so so what we need to do. to use command and then show info Uh, 
uh, right now, um, source, current value is default, required, yes. So, so you need to, if you want to see the source to see the vulnerability of those, then uh, source is required uh, argument. Okay, so source. I'm not sure. This is a, an arbitrary uh, the server. See what happens. And run. Then no vulnerability found. You can change the source. Some other, for example, csnyu.edu Oh, so you can read those uh, uh, summaries. One uh, total, one new vulnerabilities found. So computer science is over and NYU has, uh, has one issue, right? In that way, you can do more. Columbia.edu. Columbia University Computer Science. Let's see what happens. A lot more information. Oh, four total vulnerabilities found. So you can try that on your own, okay? Um, so there are many modules. Available. One of the module is, for example, I want uh, whatever I found. If I want to save it uh, as a report, then you can use this. Use space reporting dash CSV. Then that is uh, saved. For example, and then don't forget to type run to execute it. And then, uh, zero record read, uh, because it is zero record read. Uh, so we do this. And run. Oh, what is the vulnerability? Okay, user recon vulnerability again. Is this yes? And run. Reporting. Run. Show record edit. Hmm. But it, it is if it is uh, uh, something can be reported, then it is written in your 
uh, hidden file, hidden directory, dot record ng, there is a workspaces, test, and then result dot csv, that is written there. Another thing that we can do is um, uh, geo, uh, geo code. So you can practice uh, so many others. There are many modules available, right? So one of the things that may be interesting to you is I'll play with the uh, geocode. So let long dot net. Latitude longitude. And probably this is the address of Mercy College. Okay, so we have uh, latitude and longitude. Okay. I think we need to do yeah. show modules. Okay, what we need to do is, is that recon slash 
recon slash conditions dash uh, recon slash locations dash locations slash geocode. Look at this. I know it's very hard for me to show to you, right? That's what we need to do. If I remember correctly, probably it worked. So show info. So what we need to do, if I wanted to read uh, the detailed uh, the guideline there. Uh, so what can I say this? Oh, now uh, it asked me to enter uh, this number, 41.021903, right, that is uh, here, Mercy Latitude, and then it says uh, Longitude, right, so we need to do negative 93, Eight seven three three seven three three one eight. Enter and then street address. I simply type five 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 Mercy. Okay, and then I can do run. Show info. Oh, unable to joke. Oh, it was not unable to.
Oh, it ran. Okay. So let's try. Show locations. So two or multiple times, sorry. I did it three times. So those are found. They are uh, in the database table. So we gather the information about uh, the infrastructure, okay, and then store in the database, recon uh, dash ng, um, and based upon that, we can do, for example, more Um, using one uh, one of those uh, recon modules, modules that we, uh, as an example, uh, we did for vulnerabilities and and some push pins and many others. So I want you to practice some of those and see uh, which ones that you can uh, exploit more. I think that may be your uh, project. But anyway, uh, this is uh, uh, the module that uh, I can cover for today. I'll see you next week.